What's up, Mad World? Hey, been checking out all these um, online reports about fighters in the UFC, their money, how they're being treated, unfair practices, and, and things of that nature. This behavior that you're seeing at the top in the UFC, it starts at the grassroots level. Fighters have always been being uh, uh, been treated unfairly across the board. And you're just starting to see it now. It wasn't always the case necessarily with MMA in the beginning. Like if you go back to the 90s when MMA started, it was when MMA became more of a legalized thing that you start to see a lot more where fighters were um, you know hand, hand, being handpicked it started following a lot of the the whole uh, boxing format uh, guys wanted easy fights uh, there were certain fighters that had a better look better crowd so you started pushing certain fighters that you know you thought could be a big star one day and the promotions fell into it and it started gearing their uh, interest toward teams that had more fighters or a, a, a former superstar wrestler or somebody with a name. And they started treating all the other fighters with little or no regard. And so what you're seeing now in the UFC, it's just, you know, it's just on a larger scale. Look at fighter pay. I think one of the things we negate or uh, fail to look at is um, fighter pay is one of the reasons why the UFC actually got better. When they paid more money for better fighters, we got better fights. And yet fighter pay is still uh, a subject as to, you know, whether they should or shouldn't. You know, I think uh, you're paying for what they're worth. If they could go over to celebrity boxing and, and make that money, <laughs> I would encourage them, you know, even though I don't like that stuff. But you can understand the UFC's helped these guys make a name for themselves now, and now it's going to come back and, and bite them in the ass a little bit where these fighters can now use that name, use that fame. So you're probably going to see more fighters wanting to opt out of their contracts later on, you know, because they have a little bit of a reputation. But all these problems start at the grassroots level. Promoters have been treating fighters poorly for years, favoring certain fighters. Just things I've seen uh, when asking for money for certain fighters, you know, we get turned down because there's a fighter who's willing to take a pay cut. And this fighter can be 0 and, and 15, I'm, and I'm not exaggerating. But because he's willing to fight for 200 bucks, you're not willing to pay for a fighter who's 4 and 0 who wants to make, say, a thousand bucks. That's just reality of it. Hey, I'm Coach Sess, and you've had words with the mad coach.